Hi, it's Chuck Wilson, Bootlegger Guitar here in the Bootlegger offices, and it is a Saturday in March, end of March. Uh, we're in our second week of the uh, COVID-19 coronavirus countrywide slowdown, lock-in, whatever we all want to call it, right? I uh, just sold uh, to Robert Allen in Chicago a, a black Bootlegger Spade. Thank you, uh, Robert. This will be your... QC video. I'm also going to answer a couple questions uh, regarding what we're doing during the virus and uh, also about the, the spade. So uh, again, thank you, man. I'm going to get it shipped out to you today because I know we're all, you're in Chicago, so I know you're doing the same thing I'm doing in Los Angeles. So I'm sure you're looking forward to getting your spade to uh, get you through, uh, you know, these times. And then when we're done, go travel with it or go play it on stage, man, whatever, whatever works for your playing. Regarding shipping and the virus and such, uh, I live about two blocks from a UPS store and it's next to my Vaughn shopping center. Uh, UPS is open here and they're doing all the precautions to ensure uh, safety uh, and the social uh, consciousness as far as uh, keeping six feet apart and such, social distancing. So uh, we are open as long as UPS or I guess USPS are open, uh, we can go ahead and ship out guitars. But we are uh, focusing right now on shipping solely through UPS with all the precautions in place. Um, no employees other than me uh, touch the guitars. So uh, I do the QC, clean them off, and ship them out as safely as possible. And I prepay or pre-buy the labeling for UPS, so all I have to do is drop it off. I don't even have to go in, which is really nice. So uh, that's the current story. And if it changes, I'll let everybody know, but Bootlegger Guitar is open for business. All right, now let's get into the QC of this uh, beautiful black spade. To start, here's the case. All right, I get it centered. Here's the case. Bootlegger Guitar with the spade logo. Very nice hard case. When you open it up, see the guitar with the switch styrofoam protection cover tag for the, the diodiral strings and the guitar in excellent condition as you can see what else comes in the case is the toolkit for the single barrel and it comes in a nice sleeve which is better than just having them loose in, in the case and then the silicone keep it dry packing. Let's get into the guitar. Um, oh, and the case is form fit. Well, you can see pictures of that on our website, but I'll just hold this up here for you. It's a beautiful form fit case. And we also offer gig bags. I only ship in the cases, but if you want a gig bag, they're inexpensive. Um, and we can uh, offer you a gig bag as well. But what also goes, of course, in the box when we ship the spade to you, Ellen, is your bootlegger flask. This happens to be my personal bootlegger flask, and uh, lately, uh, let's see, what have I been filling it with? Oh yeah. Down in San Diego, there's a um, company making whiskey, uh, a whiskey blended with peanut butter. It's kind of like an after-dinner whiskey. I'll put their name at the end of this video. Um, I always think it's Sucker Punch, but it's not. But uh, if you want something, a you know, whiskey, like an after dinner, a little sweeter whiskey, it's uh, pretty cool. Not my normal drink, but man, it's good. So, uh, the, of course, as I said, the um, flask is also included. Your clean, unused flask is included. So now here's a guitar. Now, I designed the spade purposefully to be really comfortable sitting down, standing up. As you can see, I'm using a strap and I'm sitting down. I kind of like the strap when I sit down some of the time because it balances the guitar and it 
obviously keeps it more of a set position. Without the strap, you know, you can do really, well, you can with it too, but without the strap, you can move it in whatever direction. I'm guilty of my spade. Uh, like I have a recliner, for example. I can kick back in the recliner and kind of lay this on me without the strap. Put it in whatever position I want and run scales. Now, obviously, that's not a classically trained position playing guitar. I'm not a classical guitar player. I'm a blues guy, so I really don't care. Uh, sometimes I'm just playing to be men mentally into it, hearing notes, running scales, being creative, or just practicing dexterity and fingering. And I might be watching a movie, and I'm doing it. So um, what's nice about the compact spade without the head is that uh, when you sit down, it just has so many comfortable positions where a normal size guitar you know, with the head becomes restrictive. And of course, the bigger body you have to somehow position as well. So um, this guitar is, is great for uh, around the house guitar to have to just play and practice on. Uh, but it's a pro guitar, so it's great for this. So this is how it sits, you know, straight, flat, so I can practice with the correct wrist position when I want to. It can be not in a normal typical guitar position when you're lounging and you can do whatever you want perhaps not with the best wrist position but you're practicing different things and um, it fits standing up as you can see when I stand up here let me get better center framed uh, it just hangs so I can <laughs> No problem. Uh, standing up, I get asked that quite a bit. And uh, some of the smaller bodied headlesses have a tendency to really do this when you put a strap and stand up. So we put a lot of effort into our design that it would remain. Uh, we changed the body style to actually make it where it will remain in a more con or in a conventional uh, position like your, your Gibson 335 SG or your Fender Strat or Tele or PRS guitar. It'll fit. Also I get asked uh, will a uh, snark work and fit? So I'm demonstrating here with a snark that it can easily clamp to the top of the, of the guitar where the strings come through. So uh, using a snark or any type of attached tuning device works fine uh, with this guitar as any other guitar you play. Um, and then of course the aspect of, it is, of a travel guitar, it was never initially designed or thought of as a travel guitar, but I knew it would be a very convenient travel guitar because of it being as compact as it is with full 24 frets, you know, full double scale, two scale guitar, you know, with really easy reach to all of the notes of, of the second octave. So um, it's become a very useful uh, travel guitar for guys. I, I found that, I, I do this now too, I take my smartphone or my iPad with me when I go, I've even done it on cruise ships or in, in Europe with a spade, where I can use GarageBand and I pick up one of the eye connectors, uh, can't think of the name. I will put it on the video as well. But you spend, I don't know, 60, 80 bucks and you get a, a connector that allows you to connect to a standard quarter plug on any guitar into your iPad and then record directly or play through GarageBand or any other app that, uh, you know, uh, amplifier, SIM app, or what have you. So um, being an electric guitar, if you want to amplify it or, or hear it through headsets, so actually, yeah, the way that works is you connect headsets into the connector that then goes into your iPad, and then you hear the amplified sound in your ear pods. And most of us travel with a headset, Bluetooth now, or like, you know, Apple iPod pods. Um, so it's a real convenient way to travel with uh, the spade because you already tend to have your your equipment with you. You have your iPhone, your iPad, uh, smartphone, um, 
other brands that, you know, the, I'm not familiar with them all right now, but the Samsung and such all can cooperate with that connector and um, makes a great traveling companion. Or if I don't have it with me, I can still hear this just fine for practice. If it's not amplified in my ears, um, that's fine. Um, and then I have this for checking, you know, going to blues jams and such because I like doing that when I'm traveling. You know, just come into a local blues jam and meet the guys and gals and get a chance to play. So uh, that's kind of an overview. And of course, as I mentioned, we also have an, uh, a gig bag that is an accessory. And uh, for those that want to travel with the gig bag, it's padded and it works real well with, with the spade. So, um, Alan, thank you very much for the purchase, and uh, thanks for uh, you guys listening to this introduction to the um, spade guitar. The strings do come through the top, and then there's a set nut and a little um, shaft, very small, that you have the set nut shaft into the string. So the set nut tightens down the shaft, which tightens onto the string, and then you cut the string. And the reason for that, the set nut is not putting a circular tension on the string. Uh, so it's a very good way to keep the string safe. Put the strings through, cut. Uh, the ball end of the string fits down here in the monorail bridge. So this does use your standard uh, single ball strings. Be aware of that with some other headless guitars that require a double ball head. Um, hope that's a good explanation. Thank you for listening. Uh, this, the spade now comes in three colors, uh, the black, white, and the natural wood clear honey. So you have those options, and I'll put a picture of that up as well. Thank you.